right, welcome. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of creating and using policies to oversee your Veritas Net Backup environment. Additionally, we'll delve into the topic of audit reports. For Net Backup users, they would want to see things like this, where they see the disk pool uh, reports, so they can see the capacity of the disk pools and what percent used uh, they are. We do have uh, real-time uh, reporting as well, so we can see what jobs are running. Simple Net Backup Policies report. The list of the different policies, you can see how they're configured. Uh, you can basically drill into any one of these policies to get further information. So high level is a list, and then you can drill into any individual policy and it'll give you all the information about that particular policy. So the, the residence that it's going to be going into when its effective date is, the path that's being specified in the policy, the clients that are members of that policy, when their last backup was, the backup windows, when that's going to be occurring. So it's a frequency-based schedule. It's going to go once a day. It's going to be retained for 14 days. So you got all the information about a backup policy by simply drilling in uh, anywhere you see that hyperlink. This is my catalog policy. And this is going once a week, being retained for 14 days. A lot of our customers do use this for uh, some kind of chargeback or showback or shameback. So we can produce uh, reports that will show and apply costs to those backups. So if you do want to see how much and you can assign different costs per gigabyte for backups, and then you can produce uh, these kind of showback reports, which show them based on their usage, how much backup cost is associated with that. So the net backup audit report is another important report because it shows you everything that happens within that backup. So you give it a time frame like any other, and then this will go back and tell you everything that happened. Now there's different categories that are part of this. So if you wanted to see like changes that occurred to policies, you could select that, a particular category. Let's look at all things and against all users. Let's generate. So it tells you who did it, what they did, when they did it. So you can see on this uh, particular primary server, you can see the, the description of the event, the user that did it, what they did, and if there were any changes to any attributes, you would see that. So if somebody did add a policy, that would be here. In this case, it looks like most of the people are just logging in, but there is a hyperlink which will tell you this, this person tried to log in and they got a failure five times. So you can actually see that that person had difficulty logging in. So accessed, logged in. Let's see if we had any that are policy related. Yeah, so on this date, somebody deleted a backup policy. Delete, created the policy. So you have full, full logging capabilities. You can also, this would be an interesting one to set up as an alert. So you could again, right click, set that as alert. If you do want to get a daily report that is showing, okay, what in my environment changed last night? If there, if there were any changes to a policy in the last 24 hours, you could have it send you an email, let you know, hey, something, somebody changed something. And maybe there was no uh, change request associated with that. You can search for reports. So it's fully searchable. So if you're not sure where something is, you can put in uh, any report name here, and it'll show you all the reports that match that. So the back of executive summary as an example. Let's go ahead and run that. I think we have just over 300 out of the box reports. So between all these different categories, there's a lot of different reports that are available.